Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be uh, talking about the num uh, fourth and last part in the uh, market structure mini course that I've been going over the past uh, few weeks. So if you haven't missed, uh, if you haven't seen the first three parts, make sure to go back on my uh, trading education playlist and you'll find them there. Uh, first, I did an introduction to general market structure concepts. Then we talk about the market structure break and swing retest. Then we talked on video three about market structure breaks with a gap fill pullback. And now we're going to finish off with market structure break failure, meaning when we have a market structure break, but price comes back and actually uh, breaks back down into the original uh, put, uh, movement. And then we go the opposite direction. And uh, this will become very apparent once we go over all the uh, different uh, slides and examples that I'm going to show you in the charts. Okay. As always, please make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up all that good stuff to help the videos get promoted more reaching more people here on youtube and to keep the channel uh growing okay now one thing to note this pattern there's a lot of different names for it one of the names uh some people call it a broken base some people call it a level reclaim other people call it a breaker uh, this is just a market structure break failure or uh, I just call it sometimes to just a failed or a broken support and resistance. I have a whole video dedicated to breakers so I also recommend you go uh, on the video description. There's links to my most popular videos and it's right there. You can check it out as well. But basically let's do a quick recap of the first two videos that I made okay just to do a little quick refresher so the first uh, type of market structure break we saw was when we're coming like this market breaks out and then we have a pullback and we basically go in at the previous broken swing level this is in an uptrend also this we can look at it in a downtrend where market is just coming down and then we pull up we break the last lower high and then we pull back into that broken level now and now we're reversing the trend to the upside so this concept works both as a trend following strategy in an uptrend in this case or as a reversal in bottoms where we have market that is coming making lower highs lower lows and then once we break above in this case the last lower high we're shifting structure here we have a close and through obviously this is on the time frame we are using or trading so if this is the one hour time frame we want to see a clear close and a clear break and close through this level on the one hour time frame and then we would do the pullback what i talked about with this that it's a little bit uh, more uh harder to do is if you go in here usually your stop loss is going to be below the last significant swing low so unless you have a target that is pretty far away or you're planning like a longer swing trade or just holding it for a, a bigger movement intraday you just gotta make sure your R and R on your trade is good because unless there's some kind of structure here that you can protect yourself with, you're probably gonna have to have a wider stop in this setup. Same thing here. You'll probably want to have your stop right around here. So you just need to account for that. Okay. The second type that we saw was the pull back into a gap fill so usually and i've gone over this before you have like a down move that breaks in this case this lower uh, swing low this is a downtrend 
we have a little cluster of candles here and then usually you're gonna have an impulsive move with just unidirectional candles so when we pull back into this instead of just coming here and reversing at the swing point if the trend is very aggressive then we can have this but sometimes we'll go in deeper and fill in this gap that we left on the impulsive move that broke structure into the last area of supply in this case and then go from there okay and similarly if we're let's say doing a um a reversal of an uptrend we're coming up making higher highs and lows and then here we break down below this so we're breaking market structure here making a lower low and then we pull back and like we said if it's really aggressive we might get it like this and then in this case well we know we will protect our trade here but sometimes we'll have a deeper pullback into the last cluster or the last group of up candles that caused the impulse move down and then we reject from there okay so this is a broken swing pullback uh break retest and this is a uh a gap fill uh um, market structure break uh pullback retest meaning we filled in the whole gap here a little bit deeper the advantage with this one's like i said in the last video is your protection is going to go right behind the cluster so your r and r your risk reward you can have a much tighter stop loss where your entry is relative to your entry if you try to go in short here you're probably going to have to have your stop all the way behind the gap to be well protected whereas if this pulls in further and you go in right at the beginning of the supply area here then your stop is going to be a lot tighter okay so that's a recap of the last video so now let's talk about this video where we're talking about uh market structure break failures so first let's talk about when we have a bearish break but then it fails so this would be a bullish pattern so let's say market is trending down then we come up here and we make a lower high we have a low then we come back and make a lower low so here we are breaking below this low and making a new lower low so now if we were going to go with the uh, examples of the last lessons we could either have we made a lower low here so now we expect a lower high and then continuation down with the trend so this could pull back here and reject at the previous swing or we could go back into the supply area and reject and then go for a new um, a new lower low and this will be a lower high here and we just continue down what happens in this example when we have a failure is we have our supply area here we pull back but instead of rejecting here market pushes through and i mean sometimes it doesn't have to happen in one single impulsive candle although those would be a lot more uh powerful because it signals a lot more momentum but you know we could also come here reject a little bit and then just start consolidating maybe making like a flag or making a triangle etc or just slowly start grinding through this area and then we have a breakout once we break out then we pretty much hit our invalidation point here if you were trying to short here your stop would probably be here and you would get stopped out but again you know this works too if you see this happening on the breakout you can take advantage of this because this is a very good signal telling you okay if we were going to continue this trend down we would have made a lower high here and continued lower but instead we broke our previous lower high and made a new higher high so now 
this cluster that we had here basically the last group of candles that caused the impulse down that broke the previous swing just like a support resistance level you know that if you have a support level and it's broken then you expect it to be resistance from the opposite side this is pretty much a similar scenario if we have this resistance and we break through it now we can look in this case to go long on a retest from the other side so basically we're taking this signal that the resistance failed as a sign that now once we close up here there's a lot of traders that try to short this here expecting a lower high and they're now underwater or they're forced to buy back and close their positions adding fuel to the fire or a lot of people once this pulls back people are going to be closing their shorts at break even since let's say they went around here they're going to try to just get out at break even and if they're short that means they need to buy back the position plus there's traders that are now looking at a broken resistance and they're going to want to long into a retest as support okay so pretty much that is how we would play a bearish market structure failure and now bullish would be exactly the same thing but just flipping it so let's say we have a market coming up here we have a high we come down and make a higher low here we've been making higher highs higher lows we make a little consolidation here or a few candles we have our impulsive move up and now we make a new higher high and we broke above the previous high so now if this was a very aggressive uptrend we could have just a swing retest here and go long or we could have a gap fill pullback and go long here but instead what do we have we have the market made a higher high we come down remember this is a higher low here but instead of coming down and making another higher low here what we get is we break straight through and make a lower low okay so now we have this area that was supposed to be a demand block a support area here that broke and now we expect the opposite from the other side and in this case we would put our stop loss right beyond the block of support that was broken in this case and now we go short here expecting we're gonna mark now a lower low and then we just keep going now if you want to be if you're more aggressive then you can just look to take a trade short as soon as you see this break with your stop here or if you want to just have a little more reassurance you can wait to confirm that this is a lower uh, lower high we had a lower low and then wait for this new lower low to get broken again confirming now another lower low and then you can just look you know to short any pullbacks here for another lower high etc so i mean it'll just be you know it's a little more conservative but it lets you confirm better that indeed this area it's gonna hold and that in fact this was a bullish break failure here and that markets are now just coming back down okay so if we go now into the charts let's go into uh trading view and i'm just gonna go over a couple of examples of a uh bearish uh, market structure break failure and bullish market structure break failure so let's start with bullish examples so here we have s p 500 chart on the hourly chart and what do we see here we see this we come up and now we see we've spent here from the 18th down to the 21st pretty much three days in a downtrend making 
continuous lower highs, lower lows. So you can see right here this supply area that I marked. This was the last up candle that led to the move down that broke below the swing low. And now we're making a lower low. Now you can see market pulls back. And we come back into the supply area and we actually did reject it. You can see we rejected and came back down here. So if this was just going to continue the normal behavior in a downtrend, this is a new lower high. And then we would come break below this and make a new lower low here. OK, but instead what happens here? We reject and then we take off and we break above this previous swing high level right here okay so basically what we had was a bearish market structure break here but yet price came back and regained this level and we actually broke through this ones too so we broke through three major previous swing highs here and then as you can see now this area of supply that was resistance is now broken and then here we get a really nice retest from the other side in this case we would have our protection right under here right below the block that caused the original move that shift that broke structure down here and then in this case you know we have we're targeting at least the new previous high that we made or you know we check the left of the chart if there's any more targets in there but at least we're targeting the previous swing high here okay so that's an example on sp500 one hour if we go into forex this is an example on a lower time frame on a five minute and same thing here you can see market is we're going down here we also have a very clear trend line. So this is actually a nice example because we can also show how we have a trend line break failure. And then you can see right here, the gray box was the last group of overlapping candles that caused this move up. We broke above this previous swing high. So we made a new higher high here. You can see this was a pretty sort of the same level of support that we were holding but then we take off we break the previous two high levels here so now we made a new higher high so now we think okay we're going to pull back here and then now we're going to continue higher low and now we're going to make a new higher high etc and what can we see here we pull back we didn't bounce off of the previous swing, so it was not a broken swing retest. We filled in the gap into the uh, demand block, and we did have a little bounce. We actually made a little double top. We had a bounce, but then we came right back down impulsively, and we broke below this all these lows here and made a new lower low. So basically this whole breakout above the trend line and the retest was just a fake out a deviation we broke and made a new higher high but then shortly after came back and just broke back down here and now we come up back into the block and then we just continue down okay and in this case same thing once you see the break below here you know the support has now been broken you put your stop loss beyond the block that failed the support that failed and then your entry would have been here at the bottom of the block and then just to go down okay then we're going to see now examples of bearish of a uh, bullish market structure break failure so in this case they're going to be bearish entry opportunities okay so this one you can see here we have price this is bitcoin us dollar daily chart price is just slowly grinding up and then right here we take off 
we break above the swing high so now we made a new higher high we come down into this support block it fails and then we just pull back into it and then we just immediately take down now here this is a pretty small block so i mean if you had your stop right beyond it you might have gotten stopped out on this wick here but usually i mean if it's this thin probably the safest bet will be to put it like below or behind this last swing here that we made you know it's a little bit to your discretion how tight and aggressive you want to be but if the block is very thin like this then i'll usually try to give it just a little bit more room but you can see right here on this candle we confirmed a break below and basically this whole bullish break up here was just a failure of the market structure break pattern and then we created a bearish entry scenario and then the last example it's another uh bearish example where we had a bullet bullish market structure break that failed this is in the gold chart daily and you can see prices coming up strong we pull back and here we have a very an interesting level because you can see how protected this price was here look at how many days the market just refused to break down below this level then we come up when we take off and we break the previous swing high here so now we made a new higher high so you're like oh price consolidated here there was a lot of accumulation we break out and now we're going to come back into the gap fill into our demand block and then just take off and make a new higher high a new higher low here and go up and then you can see here what happens we broke down on this candle through this lows shifted market structure further down in this candle as well now we have a confirmed close below all the wicks and then market just pulls back into the pretty much that was the last down day before we made the impulsive move up and we just pull right back into it and then we go down and then in this case you know you can have your protection here or probably a little bit safer would be right here behind this last up candle right here okay so that's pretty much examples of this pattern again we can go here so bearish scenario is when we have a bullish market structure break to the upside that fails and then we just look to short a retest of the failed support and then in reverse the bearish structure fail where we make a new lower low a bearish break but we come up and our supply resistance fails and then we look to long on a backwards retest from it for a bullish scenario okay so that's pretty much it for the video thank you all for tuning in hope you like this little mini market structure trading course again this is patterns that i personally use in conjunction with other things i don't just blindly uh, trade this on its own i always use strategies you know with volume profile etc but all this technical analysis principles are very useful especially if you're starting out and you want to just have some clean simple understanding of how price action and market structure work on its own you know just looking at candlestick charts uh, this is a great um, way to start learning more and just developing that uh, pattern recognition so i just recommend you go you back test on your charts and just check out all this uh things to see what works best and what you can use in your strategies okay so that's pretty much it thank you all for tuning in remember to subscribe 
hit the thumbs up, leave any questions or comments. And as always, there's going to be a lot more content in the future. Uh, share the videos with all your trading friends. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.